What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode, we were introduced to the hero of our story, Vincent Brooks, and the dilemma he has found himself in with this girl that he met at the bar last night, and, well, the girl that he has been in a relationship for with a very long time named Catherine. And now we have made it through the second night of Nightmares. We narrowly escaped a monster, and now are at... The Stray Sheep, where we have the chance to talk to a lot of the bar's patrons. We actually have the ability to walk around this time as well, so I hope you guys are eager to see what's going on and meet some of the fellow people at at the bar. So, let's get on up and, and walk around. You can see there are quite a few people around the area, and it's actually really nice to get up and look around. We can, I think we can actually change some of the music. Jukebox to change the background music in the bar. Earning achievements will earn you more songs. Try doing lots of challenging things to earn them. I'll do my best game, don't worry. And for the time being, oh my goodness, I should just say that this this game has an incredible soundtrack. It's a Golden Show is one of my favorite songs, but actually what's currently playing right now, Stray Sheep, is also one of my favorites. So we're going to leave that for now, but we may mix things up a little bit later on. We also have this over here, an arcade game we can play called Rapunzel. Arcade machine to play a video game. <laughs> I love it, playing a video game within a video game. You can play up to three games a night. The rules are the same as the nightmare stages. However, there is no time limit, but you do have a limited number of moves. If you use up all your moves, you will get a game over. So take your time in solving the puzzle. If you can't beat the nightmare stage, you might be able to find new skills here. I hear this game is surprisingly deep, too. Let's do this! We're actually gonna hold off for now. I just want to introduce it. I don't know what was going on with the game there That's probably a bug just due to the nature of the the game being on Steam But I actually haven't actually played through all of Rapunzel before so that might be something I give a go But in the meantime again looking around the bar There's quite a bit going on, but it's not an expansive open-world experience like some of you might be used to in other games So let's start by talking to somebody when you talk to other customers they may talk to you about their worries. Encourage them from time to time. No new leads today, either. Well, that's a riveting conversation, I guess. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. There's the social climber. Let me take this a seat. Is a journalist. He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Nice to meet you. Have I met you somewhere before? Maybe. I think of it. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Wow. Every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around, too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the How about that sound effect, am I right? Very rarely. There's a man <clears throat> who's cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Hmm, to live forever? But too typical? A little basic. Mm -hmm. I'd wish for something different. <clears throat> like what? I may wish to change the past and make someone kill me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wonder what I wish for. Since <laughs> it's like awkward. Well, let me introduce you. This is Todd, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. Suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of the walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Again. <laughs> Maybe. Think of it, but I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cock doodlery out of you. Oh, uh. Wow, you're sharp. 
<laughs> Vincent's like, these people are so awkward. Why am I talking to them? We got poor Justin over here, though. We definitely want to investigate that a little bit more. And we have the boss to talk to. Who do we want to start with? Let's let's start with Justin. Have you played that Rapunzel game over there? Some stages are supposed to be impossible, but they're a cinch if you've got technique. I think I'm pretty good at coming up with techniques. But while you're in the you, park, got mail. you will sometimes receive text messages on your phone. Push Y to look at your phone. All right, I'll be sure to do that. Who did we get it from? Ah, it's just it's just Midnight Venus again. Congratulations, you've successfully completed stage two, the Prison of Despair. Go to awards from the cell phone menu to check your best score on stage two. I'm I'm all right for now. I only have one score on stage two, so that's fine. Let's talk to Todd and Archie. I like my women like I like my blankets. Replaced by a maid every morning. What? What on earth are you talking about? What? <laughs> That's quite the statement, Todd. <laughs> wow. And then, oh, here's Catherine. Are you at the stray sheep again? Are you out drinking again? I came by your apartment today, but you weren't there. I want to talk to you about something, but I'll do it tomorrow. How ominous. Oh yeah, your place is filthy. I told you, you have to empty the trash more often. I took it out this time, but start being more careful, okay? That's all. Good night. Hmm. It's clear that uh, Catherine's the adult in the relationship, right? Sorry I wasn't home, versus just bad timing, I guess, or I can drink if I want. Don't touch my stuff. Wow, so some of these replies are quite aggressive. Unsurprisingly, we're going to be apologetic. What did you want to talk about, or we'll talk tomorrow, or what did you want to talk about? I... I, I like this. I Personally, if I were in this situation and somebody tells me, which, by the way, I'll, I'll talk about in a second, but if somebody's like, oh, I want to talk about something tomorrow, I would get incredibly anxious. And that's why it's generally a very good strategy to say, I would like to talk tomorrow about this thing. Or if you can't be that specific for some reason, don't even bring it up in the first place. Just because leaving that open-ended mystery is just going to cause the other person a lot of mental anguish as both a recipient and uh, somebody who has accidentally caused that in the past, too. It's very common to be like, oh, I was wondering if you'd be free to like talk later about something. And they're like, what? Well, I can't really, I was hoping we could talk about it later. And then the other person's gonna be freaking out, right? Anyways, you wanna talk now? Or, but you probably won't don't, don't wanna talk to me when I'm drunk. I think I know what you're gonna tell me. Yeah, let's offer to talk now. If I were in his situation, I would just kind of wanna get it over with, per se. All right, so we'll watch the TV and we'll talk to Boss in a little bit. In the meantime, let's see if there's anybody else we really want to chat with. We've got our friends here we could talk to. And we have these ladies over here. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> <laughs> Please sit. These characters are the creepiest. Have you heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legend? When they talk in sync like that, it's so it's creepy, awesome. guys. But also, obviously, there's a lot of talk about this, you know, every hundred years, these things going on, a lot of climbing, both socially, both literally, both figuratively, in these games and in these nightmares. Who is this? Coquettish cat at Cryos phone? Is this reaching you? Hey Vincent, if you get this, let me know, okay? If you do, I'll send you a picture. You know you want to see it. Ah, uh, so this must be that that girl. Who is this? Or this is Vincent. Let's go with um Let's go with this is Vincent. What do you want? Or please don't message me. Pix now plus <laughs> I love this. It's so funny. But we're gonna go with, uh, what do you want? Okay. What? Oof. That, uh, that clearly was 
a different direction from what we've been going in prior, but that's okay. Mr. Morgan is coming tonight. I wonder if I can see Mr. Morgan tomorrow. Part of what's so creepy about them is how out of place they are, right? Like, these two people at the stray sheep on, you know, some random night. Alright, let's see what text message we got. Catherine, about tomorrow. Um, can I meet you for lunch tomorrow? You don't need to reply to me now. Just meet me at the cafe for lunch. I'll be there. Please come. Good night. That's so ominous, right? Isn't that so anxiety inducing? Huh? What happened? Or, okay, I'll try to make it. Well, I'll go if I can. I mean, we don't want to say something like that. It's obviously something very important to Catherine, right? <laughs> Sounds important. I'll definitely be there. That sounds about right. I'll make sure to listen to you. I'll be there. Sounds important. I'll definitely be there. I like that. Go easy on yourself, okay? Aren't you being overly sensitive again? Oof, don't like that one. See ya. Versus well. Good night, Catherine. Okay, we're definitely gonna go with the more endearing well. Good night. Good night, Catherine. And then Midnight Venus sent us another text. The, t the passage of time. Time passes <clears throat> when you sit down and talk to people in the bar. Customers will come and go while you do this. Sending up, drinking, checking your phone, playing the arcade machine, and using the jukebox don't make time pass. So nobody will go anywhere while you're doing those things. Interesting. Um, remember this. So this is worth noting because there are different people that will come into the bar and we can talk to at different times. But there are definitely, obviously, some activities that don't involve the passage of time. So we've talked to most people there, so let's see if we can learn anything from our friends. Oh, <laughs> I guess we uh, gonna have to get up right away, anyways. Hello, it's me. What's wrong? Is it about what you said in your text? Yeah, I think saying it over the phone would be the same thing. Okay, so. Well. Well. <laughs> Catherine. It's okay. I think I should tell you face to face. What are you gonna break up? It's so ominous. Now that's even worse. Catherine, what are you doing? That's not helpful at all. Also, can we just remark on how I, I love how Vincent walks with his hands in his pockets, kind of hunched over? It's just so funny looking. But, alright, well, thanks for that, Catherine. Gonna have a tough time falling asleep tonight. You're seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still. I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Nah, we're, we're gonna say don't say that. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. That or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Yeah, this is something that, well, I mean, a lot of people would handle very differently. So, we'll... We'll have to see. Well, she's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> yeah, Vince is like, I'm the one who's been dating her. You got mail. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. They lost a lot of money in some scam, and his wife left him. Yeah, he pretends not to mind. I think it still gets to him sometimes. Orlando definitely seems scarred. Calls him, he... Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Chinese pulling the... We'll talk about it when you're grown up again. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yay! Thanks for writing back. Be sure to save my address, okay? I'm saving yours. <laughs> the emoji. <laughs> Here's the reward I promise. Don't show it to anyone else. Well, uh, all right. Shit. Is this in public? <laughs> I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. I love that so much. It's so funny, that response. Oh, is that the time? I should be heading home soon. So I do want to talk to our, our friends here. Um, we'll reply to that text message in a moment, but... That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah, or it is. This is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah, he was a classmate of ours back in high school. 
I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Every night we're going to be spending as much time as we can talking to people. That's just how I enjoy playing the game and how I, that's how I think you can get the most out of it. As you can see, we're obviously learning a lot about the different patrons the, and the world that Vincent lives in, so... Wow, is it that late already? Toby, what do you have to say? We've been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> for reference. Uh, it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself. Classic. He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. A stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Orlando with these punches. Literally every turn he's like, turns out to be a cheater. I guess we're done today. Is that so? Alright, well then if that's the case... We, oh, and it looks like Todd and Archie have left, but Justin's still there. So we're going to go somewhere a little bit more private. Got the bathroom. Obviously not the, uh, <laughs> the most well-kept bathroom. But now that we're in the stall, we can actually check our email. I love the advertisement in the background for, you know, going to space. And then what is that on the side? Deadland? Some sort of action movie, I'm sure. But anyways, now we can actually take a look at this. And that's a rather suggestive picture, if I might say so myself. So now we can actually reply. Okay, I'll save your number, or that's it. <laughs> Don't send me this stuff. Wow, nice. So clearly some of these encourage, some of these are neutral, or one of these is neutral really, and one is an outright rejection, right? So I think we're gonna go with this. At the moment, Vincent's incredibly indecisive, but but I think this is... We need to draw the line. Aren't you going to get in trouble if someone sees that? Or, I mean, it is really sexy. Or, aren't you going to get in trouble? We're going to go with that. I'm tired. Bye. Or, no. see ya. Good night. Have sweet dreams. No. I'm tired. Bye. See ya. Nah. We're, we're going to go with I'm tired. Bye. It's like one of those things where like you need to clearly draw the line. You don't want to be outwardly offensive or aggressive. And for what it's worth, from this girl's perspective, she doesn't know that Vincent's in a relationship, right? Vincent's trying to draw the line, but but it's not like there's any apparent line that she's crossing in, from her perspective. Anyways, let's wash our face. <laughs> what? I love those little segments. What did you see? <laughs> Tonight you'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. <laughs> huh? How exciting. So much to look forward to, guys. Alright. We've still got a couple people we can chat to. Let's chat with Erica. You're cheating? That's big news. Don't you care about Catherine? Uh, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor is real, what are you going to do? Nothing, because it's not real. Understandable, Vincent. I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Is that the way it is? It's not a bad conjecture, right? Catherine definitely has the personality, and I can see her being the type of person who, who would pick a partner who she sees as a project to improve and develop over time. Okay, we've already heard this. Typically when they have like the pink talk sign above their name, they have some new sort of dialogue, but in that case, turns out she did not. So we'll sit down briefly. We can talk with the boss. I wonder if the woman's wrath over I heard about from Eric is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. 
Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this too? Whatever. Still, she really. <laughs> Whatever. Me, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. Anyway, let's both avoid ending up cursed and dead. <laughs> Such an ominous figure. Excuse me. All right, see you around, Justin. But also so funny. I love... You guys will see the recurring phrase, but it's like, to wrangle the words of a certain someone, or in the words of a certain someone, or to quote a, a particular person, or something like that. Quite a few customers come in to see Erica. It's great for me. Uh, it's late. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Hey. Hey, Vincent. We're all heading home. How about you? Uh, well, I think I'll stay and drink a little more. How about that music change, am I right? How long are you going to be drinking there? <laughs> Hurry up and come. Did I, did I just hear something? Yes, you did. Hey, come here. Wait, that voice. We definitely recognize that voice. What are you doing here? Again? Why are you here? So if I come here at this time of night, I can see you. Hey, are you going home? Uh, not, not yet. It's not like that, but... Oh, well, let's drink some more then. Interesting that just talking to her very quickly pushed me towards going home. I still want to see what the news has to say. And I'm still debating whether or not we want to play Rapunzel tonight. This is breaking news in our ongoing coverage of the rash of mysterious weakening deaths. The following people were proclaimed dead today. Those mysterious weakening deaths. I can't believe that Paul's dead. That is all the information we have up to this point. We'll revisit our top story after the local weather. So not a lot. <laughs> any updates to the situation? Not a whole lot of information, apparently. At least none that's particularly useful. I'm curious. Let's let's try Rapunzel, see how it is, see how quickly it moves, and I want you guys to let me know how interested you are. If you want, I can incorporate this every night. We can play some Rapunzel when we're at the Stray Sheep and then move on to, you know, the other segments of the game. Or if you want, this is something that I can play and, and record and save for maybe like a bonus episode at the end. But let's let's give it a go. Let's do this. Or, as uh, Vincent says, let's do this! Again, this is a totally new part of the game for me, actually. Also, can we talk about how I love these quotes along the way? Rapunzel. Okay. Looks like we're on stage one. Reasonably so. In a castle's top floor, trapped behind a locked door, lived Rapunzel, a maiden pure. Above the clouds in the air, her room overflows with hair. As she cries tears of despair, her sadness filled the skies. Until, to her utter surprise, a noble young prince arrives. With a loud voice, he declared, Rapunzel, let down your hair. I shall climb it as a stair. Oh, your highness, my dear prince, bring me threads of silk for eight nights, eight times over, sixty-four in total. Then I can knit a rope ladder and escape this tower. I love all the rhyming. It's really funny. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, I shall help you at all costs. Wait for me. Uh-oh. Will anyone dare to approach Rapunzel or my cursed tower? <laughs> I love the, uh, the aesthetic. As well as the music, too. Alright, so it looks like this is... Oh. So our power changes... Are we timed? No. But we can only push and pull a certain number of blocks, it seems. So what I can do, actually... How do I want to do this? I can just push this. Pull. And then we're able to get this ribbon. That's probably a collectible of some sort, if I had to guess. I don't know if we actually get more points for completing with a certain number of moves remaining or whatnot, but... Yeah, power bonus, it seems. 
Okay, so we cleared the first stage, got a collectible. It's saving. Stage two. I don't know, we'll see if we're able to play... <laughs> we'll be there to help you in a second, Rapunzel. I don't know if it's one of those things where... Oh, I have 20 power. Oh, I can't... There's nothing for me to grab over here, is there? So I'm gonna have to pull this block over. But, I know they said something about, like, three, right? Hmm, actually, I think that's gonna screw things up. Isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. I'm silly. Yeah. What? Did you hear that? Oh my god, and then, are you serious? I don't know if it's, we have three lives, or three stages we can complete every single night. And I don't know if there's gonna be like a way to play this after the game. I really don't know, honestly. So we'll do this, so as not to alter that aspect on the side. This way we can pick up the ribbon, and we should be in the clear. And if I do this, that should be pretty safe. And we're in the clear. I was worried for a second that those bats would attack me or something. Awesome, so we cleared stage two. I love the, the it's actually like a very proper arcade aesthetic, right? With the monitor, the, the panels of art with like the rules and explanations on the side, scores and all that jazz. Stage three, wow, this, this looks quite a bit more complex. Like quite a bit more complex than the previous levels have been. I'm tempted to go this way so we can take advantage of this stairwell. But now I'm a little bit unsure of how to proceed. I think I can do... Oh, wait a minute, there's not a block down there. Well, that's a little bit problematic. How do I want to handle this then? I thought there was going to be a block on my right, but it turns out there is not. We can hit undo. I don't know if that impacts our score negatively or not, but I hope not. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll pull this over here, and then I can push this over that way. That's still going to run into the same problem though, isn't it? So I think what I need to do is pull this over this way, and we should be in the clear. Awesome! So we cleared stage three. We get a grade bonus. I'm not really seeing much of an indicator for the grade though. Okay, so this is stage four, and I'm getting the impression we're just going to be able to play until we can't, per se. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually give up for now. We failed, and we are not going to continue. I don't know if this is something that I should be playing in one night. Is this the end of the line? It almost seems like that. So, anyways, that was actually a very cool little look at Rapunzel. No man is free who cannot control himself. Spoken by Pythagoras, math legend. Okay. <laughs> now, now that we've properly explored that, I think we can... I think we can head back. Hey, can't I come over? It's just bad. If someone saw us like this, I... Why are you acting all embarrassed? You want to leave right now, then? Just, no. All right. <laughs> She's like, you're acting all weird. And again, she doesn't really have any reason to think hey, that he should be acting otherwise. Home? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna head home. We've got, you know, a lot of stuff to do at midnight. Something to do. You know, one in the morning. Oh, well, I'm glad I got to see you tonight. Be careful on your way home. We'll do our best, but... If washing our face in the bathroom was any indicator, we may have a long night ahead of ourselves. It's just 
My mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Well, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Looks like once Vincent got home, that stuff he had to do was really just drink more at home. <laughs> To the point of helping him fall asleep, I guess. All right. Tonight's area is the torture chamber, where traitors are put to rest. Fitting. <laughs> Very thematically fitting. But yeah, looking forward to solving these puzzles. I will say also, um, just while we have a moment, that that first episode was like an hour long, which is definitely longer than I intend to make most episodes. I just really wanted to give a good sample of what this game is about. The deadly climb begins here. Trap blocks activate when you step on them. Don't stop on top of them. So yeah, we want to watch out for those trap blocks. But also, look at this environment. Look at this scenery. Is this gonna go on? It's been every night now. All right, and off we go. So we'll start climbing in a very interesting manner. They kind of show on the right side what happens with these various trap trap blocks. So you have the chance to learn before, well, falling victim yourself. There is an item we can get. I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. We can go up here and pick up this gold and that works actually quite well um is there a way that i want to get this nah, i don't think i need to be too particular about it you can climb up like that and is there a block here no there isn't okay i could have looked but i didn't feel like it i guess but now we can pick up this item, push this to the side, and that's going to let us get this gold. And now we can come over on this side. Granted, this side seems a little bit more problematic, just due to the presence of that sheep. But in the end, we're totally fine. Got the checkpoint. What? You see that? He just stole it. What happens if, what happens if I hit undo? I'll be down here, okay. So let's, let's try and see if we can do that faster. Can I pull this up and get it? No. All right, all right, let's, let's try this again. Wait. Hmm. All right, all right. Here we go, we're just gonna, we're gonna race up there. Well, this is what happens when you get a game over and die. <laughs> so now we have to retry the stage from the beginning. We do have the choice of starting again from the checkpoint, but the unfortunate thing is if you start from the checkpoint, you lose your score up until that point, and that's not something, at the very least in the beginning of the game, I'm not willing to well, do again. So we'll restart from the beginning, and I'll just have to get better, I guess. A little bit of slowdown there. Uh, my, my laptop isn't a gaming PC by any means, but it's definitely getting the job done. It's not too problematic. So yeah, we'll want to be cognizant of that sheep's location, and we can try to race up there and pretty much prevent him from getting that before we really run into that problem. Is this guy gonna run? Yeah, and then, there we go. He is toast. So we'll pull this, and then we'll just right away go on up. Nice. But now there's obviously that gold that we need to get. And now I've got to try and climb really quickly so I don't lose my combo. There we go. So that was kind of problematic. But this should be okay. Alright, we can hear the bell. So what we are going to do is we're gonna give us a little bit more room to work with. There's some gold over here we're obviously gonna wanna be careful with. Whew, that was a little bit scary. All right, so we got ourselves our perfect combo. We got all the gold along the way. It's like a little bit of trial and error in there, uh, in the middle there, but, 
but I'm pretty happy with that, so awesome. That's a fun one, and obviously you can see that this is sort of the introductory level for those traps. They're obviously going to be integrated into more difficult puzzles as we progress throughout the night. And now we make our way to a landing, where we get to chat with some more of our friends. Look at the scenery to go! You can see why it's called a romantic horror, right? Hey, you there! The sheep that's just standing around! I'll give you any amount of money you want. Just get me out of here! Um, I'm, I'm really not sure if I can help with that. I don't know where the hell I am either. How dare you talk to me like that! You're a sheep! I'm the heir to a big corporation. I'm a VIP. Why am I even bothering talking to a sheep? Stand up and stop complaining. All we can do is keep climbing. Shut up! I know. I'm just trying to help, man. Do this. We got our friend over here who's rather confident in the value of these coins. If you want an item, pony up some coin. Tonight's product is. The bell changes the blocks around you into normal blocks. The energy drink allows you to climb two blocks at once. The energy drink is super powerful, but again, we're not gonna go for that. Excuse me. It's like, hang on a second. If I talk to people like that, I might not have any more customers. Sheep have interesting habits. They all follow one leader. If the leader falls off a cliff, the entire group will go to its death. Hmm. Symbolism. Maybe we'd survive if we had a great leader. If only there were a great leader. I heard that this place has eight levels. Does that mean there's an exit? I mean, I guess theoretically, right? Hello, we're discussing techniques. Please join us. You me? Your climbing was quite innovative. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> sure. First, here's a technique I thought of. What do we got here? Allow me to explain the bridge. If you must cross a gap, move a block over it to create a bridge. That way, you can reach the other side of the gap. What you saw a little bit of that earlier. You know that one already? Well, what about this thing? Allow me to explain the flying bridge. Using principles of the bridge, gaps two blocks wide are no problem. Push the same block twice to push it to the other side. Then add another block next to it to complete the bridge. So long as there's an edge across the way, you're in the clear. You're not just a regular guy. <clears throat> That's really cool, buddy. I think that'll help me beat the next area. Hey, I'm uh, happy to help however I can. Oh, I got a technique for you. Yeah, let's do it. Allow me to explain the spider. If there is a block in your way, try dangling off the edge. Oh, you guys have seen me use this one a lot. It's a useful way to go around a block <clears throat> to find another place to stand. By moving around, you can skip having to move blocks. You mustn't let your guard down. I wonder if my girl's the witch. Oh, you mean the one from the rumors? She got all worked up all of a sudden for no reason the other day. She was just stabbing your dinner with her fork, man. I thought she was gonna reach over. <laughs> Yikes, that's pretty you intimidating. Like those kind of women. Men who want to control women tend to have a desire to be controlled by women. It's the truth. <laughs> These guys act like they really know a lot, don't they? Hey, want to talk about techniques? Nah, nah, I'm good. Sorry, I'm gonna hurt. You mustn't let your guard down. Just wanted to make sure because again, you have that pink text box above you your head. Review the techniques. Nope, I'm good. Gotta go. Good luck to you guys. Okay, just wanted to make sure I'm getting all the text. Going every night until we die. At the very least, that means that whatever rate this whole place is crumbling at, it's not at the rate of one entire stage a night. Have you seen them? You're those two sheep who attack you while you're climbing. They're trying to follow you or what? Uh, no, they're just crazy. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I've done it too. Yikes! Seriously? That's not reassuring. The blood is on my hands. And it's everywhere else if you take a look around the place, right? Like, look at that. All right, what do you have to say? Are you paying attention in the confessional? There's someone in the real world who wants me dead. Not her. Think of anyone who would do that? Yeah, I can. 
A lot of them. A lot? Yikes. But this curse is nothing compared to there. They escaped from hell. Well, we'll, uh, we'll have to ask you about that at the next landing. Because in the meantime... Wait, no, I didn't want to go out. I wanted to see what this person has to say. I'm here. Take me up. Don't be so impatient. Sit down. All right, all right. Oh, man. You're here, Lamb. Why are you doing this? We're climbing up these weird blocks, and the monster from yesterday? What was that? This is your dream. What appears depends on you, doesn't it? Oh, I can't let you carry your memories of your dream back into the real world. If you were to try anything in reality, it'd be troublesome for my game. <laughs> well, now you'll be answering my question. This is the third question. Do you consider yourself a pervert? <laughs> be honest now. <laughs> That's hilarious. No use denying it, or I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Which one? I think there's a certain normal degree of sexuality that every person has, and uh, you'd have to be pretty far outside the norm in order to be considered a pervert. So we're gonna go with I don't think so. No. Oh, really? So that's your choice. How interesting. Your abilities are exceptional. You best work hard. It's not like no one has ever survived. Really? Far above this place, on the eighth floor, there's a cathedral. It's said that those who reach that holy pinnacle will have the path of freedom opened unto them. And of course, from this nightmare as well. Well, that's good news. So if I climb to the very top, I'll be saved? I've said too much. I'll guide you to the next trial. Cathedral, huh? Okay, fine. Yeah, so that's pretty reassuring, and we're actually starting to get a little bit more context about are there any limits? Is there an end to this climb, right? Let's see what other players said. Oh my goodness! It's like right down the line. That's hilarious. I'm sure that the population that plays Catherine and video games in general um, is, is not... Well, is certainly a biased subpopulation, but... <laughs> That's Some really funny. May be moved, while others cannot. Look at the various blocks in your way when determining your path. So that's going to be our little hint about what type of obstacle we're going to be meeting while we're here. Those traps again. Commencing area two. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. So a lot of times you'll see me trigger traps by just kind of walking on top of them and then immediately running past them. That's generally what I like to do. You'll notice that there are those dark blocks which we can't move. Um, the ones that have this sort of like face on them are the ones that we can't move at all. So we're gonna have to, if we want to get this gold, we're gonna have to be very intentional about how we move about things. We're gonna have to move really fast. Come on, if we want to keep our combo. Awesome. So we have maintained our combo. I'm gonna move this over here for the time being just because I don't want to worry about this guy. And he's probably going to die. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, it usually doesn't fare very well for sheep when they have to navigate all these different... Uh... Oh, what? No! <laughs> Here I am talking about how <laughs> these other sheep don't fare well on these traps. But I completely forgot that I was pulling out a fresh trap that I hadn't activated yet. I let my guard down. But it won't happen again. Famous last words, right? I realized I didn't even need to... Uh... Oh wait, actually, we're gonna do this. So we... You'll notice that I couldn't actually walk off of that block there because um, because I had pulled out that block, which was preventing me from doing that spider technique, right? So what I did was I actually pulled out a block to push me onto the ledge. And that's, I believe, another technique we'll get some insight into. Alright, so this guy's just gonna run no matter what. And that's where it catches up to him. All right, hang off. Nice. We'll do this. Activate it right away so we don't worry about it. We can do the bridge technique. We pick up a block. Lovely. We'll suspend with that. And... And then what? Can I drop this? No, I can't. 
Alright, then we'll do this. Wait, no! Okay, so that was problematic. So now I can do the spider and come on over here. We got our checkpoint, we can get this gold, and we're continuing our combo. What do I want to do here? We'll go to the left, I guess, and see if we can make it work. You can see that this is a setup for a bridge, right? So that's what we'll do. Sure enough, they reward us by putting some gold over here for using the bridge. Oh, what? There's some over there, too? Well, I'm going to want to try and get that. Um, we can do this, and that'll stick. I can push that over here. And then... Oh, wait, no, but I'm going to lose my uh, combo, unfortunately. Darn. I was trying to think of how I could get that gold. Easily, at least. So I guess when we get to that point, we'll... Not the time to be dead. <laughs> I love that line, too, by the way. <laughs> Now's not the time to be dead. So I guess when we get up to that point, maybe I'll pause for a second and think about it. Some of you may not like that, but that's something that can be really helpful. But yeah, we'll probably try exploring that left side before we end up going to the right then and see how that works. This guy's gonna run and get himself killed no matter what, so we'll just wait patiently, I guess. Alright, you gonna move? Oh, I did it again! I did it again where I just stood up there and waited for him to move so I could do that. Okay. This is something that will be part of the Catherine experience, and more so if you're playing the game yourself. I will say it is a little bit different when you are really aiming for that perfect combo, and you're pushing yourself to move really quickly, and giving yourself less time to actually think through every one of your actions. But it's fine. It's all, it's all good. So we can just do this. I think that side, or the spider crawling, is actually a little bit quicker than just walking normally, so it works in our favor there. Now I gotta remember that the one that I pull out here is active. It is a live trap that I need to actively avoid. Alright, so we're gonna go over here so that I can get these. We'll drop off. I can pull this out and then we can spider on over and we are in the clear. We get the checkpoint, we can pick that up. I don't want to have to use my item. Wait, what? Did you hear that? Aw, oh, man. Why did that... Hmm. Do we want to go... Yeah, we said we wanted to go to the left, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And that's right, they're going to reward us for hopping over to the left with this bridge. But we'll want to stay cognizant of what's going on on the right side, because you can see the coins there. And I don't see a very easy way to get over there. I'm trying to think as I go, but I'm not really seeing it yet. Hmm. Oh, wait, no! Yeah, I'm trying to think. The only thing I can think of is if we were to go on that left side. Maybe what I'll do is I'll try going to the left, and then bridge over to the right at a later time so I can get all of those coins. But again, I am doing a bit of a score attack, and I highly doubt that they would make those coins, I guess, optional in a sense, right? And that you, or in that you have to choose between one of the two sets of coins. You've got to be able to get both of them. You just need to think through it, so... Let's try that this time around, where we go on the left side and climb there. Might be interesting in terms of what techniques are necessary to succeed on that side of the map as well, so we'll give it a go. Alright, we're going to remember that this trap is active. Lovely. And yes, here's what I was talking about before. I don't necessarily need to push that block, although I guess I do end up pushing it anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but it's alright. Okay, what? Oh, I did it again. Interesting. So yeah, if we go all the way over there and we collect the gold, we keep the gold, but we don't necessarily... Um, but we do reset the timer, so that is something we'll take advantage of, I guess. 
so what do I want to do here? We're gonna climb this way. This is a technique that we'll actually learn about later. But for now, it's um, it's gonna get the job done. So <laughs> that's what we'll do. And now we've got a little bit of a stairwell here. Now the question is, I can probably spider over here, can't I? I can. So we're gonna do that. And now I need to climb so that I can extend my combo. Awesome, we can push that, slide that over. Oh wait, push. Wait, no, undo. Big undo there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think for a second. How am I gonna want to... Huh. How do I get this to work? Do I have to push that and then pull this over? So that I can do this? Come on. Wow. That was like so close at the end there to expiring, but whew, we just barely made it. And so you can see on the left, we had a lot of time if we wanted to try to do it before we died, which is obviously a very different goal from trying to maintain that perfect combo, which is a much quicker timer. So I admit you surprised me. Anyways, um, it's quite the thrill to be puzzle solving on the fly and something I really enjoy. So if that's something that sounds up your alley or if you're sitting here being like, oh, you can do this and this or try this maybe and you're really getting into that aspect of the game, I highly encourage you give it a go. I get it, man. Night after night. I'm so tired. It's like what they say. Third times. <sighs> Third times. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be a charm? Who cares what cliche you're using? Well, do you know this way to climb? Let's see. Something big's coming up. Want to trade techniques? Yeah, please do. Sure. Allow me to start with the technique I developed. Allow me to explain the swing out. Okay. You pull a block, drop in half, then move to the other side. Now you can push the block. I feel like I've done this one a couple times already too. Remember this one. But yeah, I agree it is very useful. I have more. Oh, they're just shelling out all the techniques. To explain the toppler. If a stack of blocks is full of holes, pushing the lower blocks is an option. By causing blocks to fall, you may find a path upwards. I will say that's very useful technique. But at the same time, I have a really tough time planning out how blocks are going to drop. Wall suspension. By using edges, you can connect with blocks forming walls. Blocks make edge connections on all sides, not just left and right. This is one I probably need to utilize more frequently. And make new footing. I see. I didn't think of that. Although that, I think that's actually one we used in the last one. If I was a chick, I'd be all over you. <laughs> Thanks. I get it. <laughs> that's quite the compliment there. Mm -hmm. Two's company, but three strikes and you're out? <laughs> Did you actually say that? It's hilarious. Do you know They're just with all of the cliches with three, right? Three strikes and you're out, third time's the charm, and then, uh... Do you know this way to climb? What was it? I don't even remember which other one he was just referencing, but that's Do hilarious. You the techniques? Nah, I'm good. I gotta go. But I'll have to remember that wall suspension. And then, yeah, like I said, the wall toppling and, and the one with the holes. Ah, shit! This sheep seems to be having a really tough time. I want to climb, but these other sheep get in my way. They messed up the block that I pull out. I'm going to turn them all into sheep stew someday. That's not good. I hear there was a great sheep who escaped this place a hundred years ago. Does that mean I might be able to get out too? Not might. You will. Right. We'll get out. Those That's right, there Vincent. Are talking about climbing techniques. I'll join them. Yeah, you gotta put your brains together, pool your resources, and do what you can to survive together. I should get... Have you heard the rumor about true freedom? They say that true freedom awaits you at the top. What is true freedom? Does that mean that even I can be free too? Free from the life I live? Only gonna find out if you reach the top. Can you stand? Don't be nice to me. I may push you off one of these days. Yikes. That's, uh, that's not very reassuring. When I wake up. I forget everything that happens here, but before I know it, I'm back again. For the past few days, I've always been in this area. 
Mm, that's not promising. You gotta maybe follow us up, right? Damn. Get the feeling I'm gonna reach the last door soon. Stay strong, buddy. I know that if I keep going up, that terrible thing's gonna appear. No, I don't want to go any higher. What do we say? Oh, what, what's a good thing to say? What do you mean, terrible? Or just keep moving? Let's go with just keep moving. If you want to live, you gotta climb. Got it? But, but, but what should I do? This place is gonna crumble soon too. Let's go. That's all we can do. You cold-blooded son of a bitch! Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! You're cold, man. I've gotta respect that. Wait, did you just turn that into something positive? I don't know if I, like, <laughs> said the right thing, right? I'm trying to be encouraging here. You know, it's like, what can you control, right? A lot of times people think in terms of, oh, if I do this thing, what are the risks and what are potential consequences of it? But very rarely do people think about, what if I do nothing? Because doing nothing, choosing not to make a decision, for example, is similarly making a decision that comes with its own risks and consequences that a lot of people don't think about. I know it, I'm here, covered in blood. I get beat up pretty bad too. I'm all bloody from scratches and bites. It's not like that. It's not my blood. Yikes. Hey, hey. Yeah, it uh, happens to the best of us, am I right? Please, get away from me. Run. I may even kill you. Well, you wouldn't be the only one to think that they may kill us. But yeah, with this poor guy over here, I was just trying to encourage him and tell him, you know, hey, you've only got so much you can in control of if you're gonna run into the terrible thing going forward and you're eventually gonna crumble if you stay here <laughs> might as well go on ahead this this sheep doesn't seem to be doing so hot <laughs> hey get a grip freak out you're never gonna make it out of here I feel like the voice actor for this sheep had a blast doing these lines. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone. <laughs> it's hilarious. Maybe I. All right. What do you have to say, sheep of the tie? Those two over there are talking about how to climb. Yeah. Why don't you join them? Hmm. You don't sound very enthusiastic. It's a pain. Living, dying. It's not cool. Hopefully, there's no annoying guys like my boss. I love that line. Living, dying, it's not cool. <laughs> what a line. Alright, so we're gonna save here. As is typical with Let's Plays, I'm gonna save in a separate file, just in case recording issues happen. And what? We've been recording for almost an hour again? Here I am at the beginning talking about how it's only gonna be like 40, 45 minutes, but it's already been another hour. As the sheep have mentioned, it looks like something big is gonna be coming up next, so you guys have that to look forward to. Um, you may have a boss battle, and then of course, another story segment during the day. We get to see how Vincent's story progresses, how his dilemma unravels, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. But of course, all of that's going to be revealed in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Obviously, the puzzles are getting a little bit more difficult, and I hope you guys are enjoying thinking about them with me on the fly. I will try to solve them quickly when I can. Some people don't enjoy the puzzle segments at all and are just here for the story. And we'll skip them, and that's totally fine if that's how you'd like to play it. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the Let's Play however however you do. But, until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.